And leaders across the political divide have continued to condemn the political intolerance that was witnessed in Soy, Wasingishu County, that saw Raila Odinga's chopper stoned by rowdy youth. On their part, the clergy has called for tolerance among Kenyans, saying the Soy incident was a reminder of the ugly face of violent political intolerance that the country has worked so hard to bring to an end in the last few years. The scenes in Seoul. As the Directorate of Criminal Investigations in Nakuru County makes progress on persons behind pelting of stones on Azimio Laumoja presidential flag bearer's chopper in Soi was in Gishu County, the incident continues drawing widespread condemnation from leaders across the country. It was not by coincidence, it was planned properly because no one, no youth is able and has the courage uh, to take such an action if they don't know someone is behind them. Tungependa vijana hata kama mtu wako na sera tafauti, wewe msikize tu. Tungependa kila mtu atembe kila maali. Na kwa niaba ya Kenya kwanza tungependa kuomba watu wa azimio msamaa na watu wa baba msamaa kwa ile mawe walipata kule hamutapigwa tena the incident has been termed as an abuse of the country's democracy and outright hooliganism seen as a recipe for violence and should be condemned by all leaders in the country ambalo nilifanyika kwa mheshimiwa Raila Odinga liwe funzo kubwa kwamba Sentiments echoed by the clergy in Narok and Kakamega counties who are calling for tolerance in the country as the nation gears up to their gust elections. The religious leaders also want action taken against those found culpable. Siasa ya mawe na matusi ilipitwa na wakati. Sasa ni siasa ya maendeleo na vitendo na kusameheana. Kenya ni nchi yetu, Kenya ni kubwa kuliko kila mtu, Tunaomba ya kwamba watu wawe na unyokusameheana, watu wavumiliane, akija mtu katika sehemu yako, ngome yako, mvumilie. Tuchunge amani ya taifa letu, maana baada ya uchaguzi, tuko na inchi, na lazima tubaki kama ndugu na dada. Ninaomba ya kwamba wakikishe uh, wame, wameshika na kama mtu wako katika rezi ya kutafuta kiti, wakataswe kwa sababu hiyo ni dalili ya kwamba huyu mtu sio kiongozi. Kwa hivyo mtu yoyote ambaye anapanga gazia kwa inji yetu, muhakikishe ya kwamba asisimame na mkatase kabisa asi, asi, asionekane hata siku moja katika inji yetu ya Kenya. Kwa sababu utaongoza nani kama unamwaga damu. Meanwhile, investigations on the alleged involvement in the incident by two legislators saw a member of parliament, Caleb Kusuitani, and his capsaret counterpart, Oscar Sudi, and the Wasingishu County Assembly Speaker, David Kiplagat, over the incident is ongoing at the DCI in Nakuru County. For lunchtime news, I'm Gladys Mungai.